Hey guys, welcome back to Runners Over Garden and Life. My name is Nina. And that guy over there is my husband, Boyce. So right now, what we're doing is putting some items into our storage facility for um, our moves. So we're participating in this um, it's fall, hashtag it's fall y'all uh, <laughs> collaboration. It's an open collaboration, I think, or no, I have to tag three people. So, um, you ready for this uh, hashtag it's fall y'all? So ready. So ready. <laughs> All right, babe, so how do you feel about fall here in Texas so far? Today is great. Oh my God, the weather is beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, first time you look at the storage. Yeah. All right, so we got tagged by Deb from Deb's Way. If you guys are not subscribed to Deb and, Deb and her channel, Deb's Way, please go over to her channel and subscribe to her oh nice man babe you're killing it for the uh playing tetris huh you must have been a high scorer huh okay so let's go through our <laughs> okay so thank you sir all right, so the first question is, favorite cool weather food? A Mexican, so caldo. Caldo? Like what kind of caldo? Caldo de pollo, so it's caldo chicken, chicken soup. Okay, so chicken soup, homemade chicken soup. Yeah. What do we put in our homemade chicken soup, babe? Uh, chicken. <laughs> no. <laughs> chicken, we got squash, we got zucchini, we got cucumbers, of course seasonings, pepper, salt, and mm -hmm. all the other fixings, a cabbage, and carrots, and onions, and potatoes, and potatoes. potatoes. My favorite fall um, food would have to be chili. I love chili, and it um, it's just so good. So yeah. Okay. Um, second question is favorite cool weather smell. What's your favorite cool weather smell? I don't know if this is. You know how when you open the freezer, a brand new freezer, you open that freezer, it has all that nice little cool air and frost. That's my favorite smell, the cool weather. That's, oh, yeah, that crisp yeah. smell. Like after it's finished snowing outside, it just, you know, Texas, we don't get snow. But when we live in Kentucky, oh, my word. Yeah, was, I so agree with that. Okay. I do like that crisp, cool smell. smell. Like just like freshness. The outside, of, yeah. yes. Oh. We hardly get those sort of days, <laughs> but when we did live in Kentucky, oh man, it was the best. Roll down them windows. We're the just... only crazy people in, in the <laughs> housing area we're at with our windows and our doors open. Mm -hmm. just, and it was snowing outside. It was outside. like 30 degrees yeah. outside. We were the only crazy ones doing that. We would like... have our front door open and we would have a screen door, not a screen door, a glass screen door, and we would... No heater, no nothing. Just letting it go. Just letting it go, letting God be God, and just yeah, yeah, and take just taking advantage <laughs> of the cold because we we never experienced cold like that before. But yeah, most definitely. Alrighty. Okay. Um, question number three: favorite place to view the fall. Hmm. I guess up here in Cleveland where we're at, a lot of, a lot of the, anywhere where there's a bunch of trees are at, and everything starts changing colors, which is nice, you know, if you start looking at it, just changes colors, it's beautiful, if you start thinking, like me, I think more into it, it goes, oh, they're dying, you know. No, not me, I just like to see the beautiful <laughs> colors, I'm like, ooh, pretty colors, <laughs> I love Paul, but my favorite place would have to be when we were helping my brother. When he was moving from California. California into Colorado, and that was the first time I had been to Colorado, 
And then and California. And California. <laughs> and throughout the whole entire state that we were going through. And I remember seeing the um, mountains. The mountains and trees and trees and trees. And then like at the very peak you can start seeing like the little hints of red and the golden colors coming through the leaves. And I'm like, oh, yeah. feel so inspired like yo god you're so great yeah colorado like, was it beautiful. was just so beautiful and i was just like in all of that but yeah colorado was it, it was an there. experience i've been there before before beautiful. nina was it was it was gorgeous but that you did it for training but we yeah. actually got to drive drive through, through it, it yeah and it was gorgeous yes um Favorite fall color. Favorite fall color. Oh, yeah. Mine's just burnt orange. Yes. I like that burnt pu pumpkin color. And I do like the gold. On the leaves, I like that golden color. Oh, yeah. And the red. I mean, I just like all fall stuff, guys. Like my favorite season is fall. And then <laughs> it's winter. But I love the coldness and I love the brisk air and I love the hearing the the whooshing of the wind, wind and the, the trees. trees. Yeah. I'm just so all romantical with it. <laughs> I just love it. Okay. All right. Number 5. Movies that put you in the fall mood. What movie put you in the fall mood? Number 1 movie. I don't have a fall movie. I, really I don't think don't. I have a fall movie either, but the one that actually comes to mind, a few of them actually that comes to mind, is the Charlie Brown, um, where he, The Great Pumpkin? Yeah, The Great Pumpkin. That's the one that comes to mind. For me, the one that comes to mind when I say fall movies is uh, um, You Got Mail. Don't you just love oh, New York in the fall? Yes. I love that movie. Oh, we love that movie. So romanticizing about the whole yeah. uh, thought of, I don't know, the way the weather changes and how they explain it all and everything. The other two are like Practical Magic oh, and yeah. um, Hocus, Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Yes, that's also <laughs> one of my favorites. And I don't have a collect. I don't have it in my collection just yet. But yeah. yeah. Well, okay. you got you got Hocus Pocus now. I do. Yeah, we we bought that one from Disney. Remember those one of the ones I got you? Oh, I don't remember seeing it up there. Okay, <laughs> anyway, on right. to the next. Best fall event. Best fall event. Actually, I don't think we ever been to a fall event. No. Um, I do remember... Well, we went one time. It was in the fall, the Renaissance Festival. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. The Renaissance Festival is so fun. If y'all have not been... I suggest y'all to highly go. Yeah. It is so fun. And I like eating that big old hunk and turkey leg. turkey leg. I feel like sometimes I can hold two and just like raw with swords and stuff. Like, let's go <laughs> at it, brah. But yeah. <laughs> um, favorite fall memory. I guess uh, for me is that Renaissance Festival. That's my favorite fall memory. Yeah. And I also have a lot of fun rent memories with my kids, we would send boys um, some care packages, yeah. and I would decorate the inside of them. Yeah. And that which was one nice. was your favorite, honey? It was when they had all, when I opened it, all the leaves flew out of it. It was, it was windy where I was at, and when I opened it on in the hangar, it goes, ah, I got a package. I was all excited, you know. And uh, as soon as I opened it up, it was like little fall leaves, like the the, the fake fall leaves were flying. It goes, oh my god, it was so pretty. It was yeah, nice. and then there was also another one where we had sent him one for Halloween, and um, I remember the kids and I have went out and we bought some uh, fake spider, uh, web spider web webs, web. and we put like little ring spiders inside there. So whenever he opens it. It kind of just like yeah, that was kind of cool. Like kind of untethers itself, and and the spider whip was like right in there, right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of cool. That was kind of awesome. <laughs> Number one wife here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, number eight. Uh, number eight. Irrational, irrational fall, fall fears. fears. Scary things about the fall. Cornfields. If you're ever in Kentucky, oh those mother flipping cornfields. <laughs> Talk <laughs> about children of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> it was about seven o'clock and it gets dark. I mean, dark, dark, dark. 
in Kentucky, but there's no street lights. Mm -hmm. You go into the back roads, cornfields to the left, cornfields to the right, and the dead road in the front of you, like, oh my god. That goodness. was not a great time to no. get lost. No, it wasn't. In the back 40. No. It was not a great time. It was so scary. There was no houses. It was completely dark. No lights on the side of the road. Maybe like way, way <laughs> out there, like a light. And it kept coming in my head with, I swear to God, if a kid comes out of here, I'm going to run <laughs> him blue over. Eye, blue eye, <laughs> blue eye, blonde hair, blue kids coming out, kid. coming out of the corner. I'm going to run him over and just keep on going. <laughs> this is not, not today, Jesus. Not today. <laughs> it's not my time yet. <laughs> uh, painfully funny memories. Last question. Painfully funny memories. I don't know. I think just thinking about those memories of the children of the corn thing is kind of a funny <laughs> memory. Um, I don't think we have anything painfully funny about fall. Um, we just no. really like to experience the whole beauty of the transition, especially here in Texas. The beauty of transition of the hot and humid to this brisk, cool weather. But then yeah. we get really sad at the same time because it goes away so quickly and yeah. we're back in the hot and humid weather. Yeah, And we don't really experience fall like how our northern friends do which um i'm secretly jealous of you guys you know um but <laughs> but um overall i'm i'm happy we're happy that yeah. we get to experience that and we actually get pumpkins out here yeah. and there's a pumpkin patch and i know um well we never got to really um, do the whole trunk and treat thing and whenever the army had it um, But um, we did go through uh, they had like a fall festival type of thing um, in Clarksville, Tennessee and we would take our kids. They would have like a haunted um, yeah. forest yeah. type of thing. And a couple of fairs. Mm -hmm. and, nice. and that was really nice. And the kids enjoyed it. And they were about, what, 9, 10, 11 years old. They were nice. So, they, yeah. The kids were nice it, at that time. It, I, <laughs> <laughs> no more. Clarksville and Fort Campbell have always been like. It's their home. It's their home. Like, that is home home for them because Faith was maybe about three or four whenever we moved from Texas to, to there. there. And then Boyce was about five or six years old. So, I mean, we were there for a great majority of their life. So, yeah, I mean, those are our fall. I mean, I just realized we're both wearing gray shirts. Oh, we're matching. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, I was all looking. I was like, "That's great." I'm wearing. We're matching. We're corny that way. I love to match. <laughs> I really do. I really. I try to. I. Yeah. We're so weird that way. Anyways, I love us. <laughs> Anyways, um, three channels that we're gonna um tag. We're gonna tag um, Colleen from Winging It with Irish Colleen. We're also gonna tag um. Beat Sweets, um, and we're gonna also tag Fireball Fred. What do you think, Fred? You want to give it a go? All right, guys, <laughs> so this is it for now. Thank you, Deb, for tagging us in this hashtag. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we thank you guys for watching and share with the world, guys. And we pray that the Lord keeps on blessing you guys and keeping y'all safe. Until next time. Bye.